Gary, after being undone by late goals and a couple of recent matches, it's a late goal that's won it for us here, and it, it felt like in the end that was deserved. Yeah, I think so. I think at half time, if it was a boxing match, it might have been stopped. I thought our play was outstanding. The only thing we didn't do was put the ball in the net, and it's it's been a little bit of a problem this season where when we are on top, we have to score, we have to uh, make the, the dominance in our play, the quality in our play count in goals. Uh, but 0 0 at half time, they're always going to come out shooting down the hill with uh, more energy. They were, they were always going to raise their game, and uh, we started poorly that second half, but the players were outstanding to, to go a goal down here. You know, against a, a team that's fighting for their lives, and then you know, manage to produce a comeback again, but with good football, with quality, sticking to our principles. I thought the, you know, we were outstanding and deserved the win. And actually, I think the important thing was that we got that goal back so quickly. Cheltenham did have, I think, another chance after they scored, kept it at one nil, and then we got the equaliser, which really seemed to put a spur us on. Yeah, we just lost a little bit of control second half. They changed their shape to a, a four-two-three-one, and. Uh, they managed to get a bit of impetus in the game. We probably overplayed a little bit in that period in our own half and, and had to recognise the, the space was further up the pitch and, and bypass the press a little bit. But I think the players worked it out in the end. Uh, we scored a brilliant first goal. The, the quality of our play was superb. And then a fantastic you know, corner routine that, that we'd worked on. And we've put a bigger emphasis on corners recently and we're seeing the rewards of that, which is always pleasing from the coaching staff. So uh, all credit to, to Al, to Sam, to Perch for the work that they're doing on, on that front because it, you know, it gets us a penalty that gets us a win. It was Reese Cole that, that stepped up to take that winning kick. I mean, there was, there was actually doubt that he may even get any minutes at all today. He wasn't fully fit. No, he had a back problem uh, in training on... I don't know what day it is, Sunday, I think it's Monday it today, yeah. yeah so. He had a problem with his back, uh, it wasn't his Sunday, it was Saturday actually, he had a problem. He didn't train at all yesterday, he took a lot of painkillers, he, he got treatment off Michael and, and the physios and, you know, you know, barely managed to get himself on the bench, but we bring him on and he comes up with a penalty to, to win the game, so delighted for him as well. I noticed at that moment as well, Piers Sweeney had the ball in his hands on the spot. I imagine it was always planned for Reese to take the kick, but Sweeney's doing that. Does that take the pressure off Reese a little bit? Yeah, that's uh, something you can take the pressure if they're trying to put, you know, uh, some negative thoughts into the Sweeney's head at that point. Reese can uh, free himself from that and just focus on the, the task in hand. Uh, I'm not someone who you know, designates a penalty taker. I always believe that whoever wants to take it and has confidence to take it, then they can go and put it in the net. But you wouldn't, you know, want anyone else than Reese. the quality he has with his strike and a clean strike at the bottom corner, an unsavable penalty. So uh, I, I think the ownership the players took and how they dealt with that situation was very good. Ben Parrington unavailable through that concussion protocol after Friday's game. That gave chance to Alex Hartridge, who he had a fantastic game and he was well received, not only by his teammates, by, but by the supporters at the end of the game as well. Yeah, and I've just said that to him in the dressing room. I think it's always a difficult period as a footballer when you don't play as many games. And he's came out of the team and he's found himself out of the team for a long period of time because, you know, Zach's been playing really well, Ben's been playing really well, the team's been winning football matches and, and that has meant he has had to train hard and, and be ready for his opportunity. And, he showed you know, what a great servant he is to this football club, what a great player he is, that he was managed to come in today and, and pro produce a, a performance of that level. He showed great fitness levels, there was never any doubt he would see out the 90 minutes, so uh, fa fantastic for him to do that. I think, as you touched on there, it, it's testament to his hard work, as we've seen with other players earlier in the season, that when injuries and suspensions mean there's a space in the starting eleven that you have to keep working hard when you're not in the team because it will eventually pay off for you. Yeah, and, and I think, you know, the staff as well deserve a bit of credit. The, the work we put in with the players that aren't playing, you know, we put extra sessions on, we work with them, we give them running, we make sure that physically we can make them as good as they can be because, you know, when you're playing week in, week out, it's easy to maintain your fitness. When you're not, you can lose fitness very quickly. So uh, we all put a lot of work to make sure the, the players are ready, but the players also have to stay mentally strong in that period. And, you know, so many players have done that when the squad's been bigger. And I keep saying to the players, even though they think I'm, I'm just saying it, I say it for a reason, because we will need every player at some point. And uh, as a professional football player, you have to be ready for that chance when it comes. And, and Al grabbed it today. As they do every year, the supporters turned out in their numbers at Cheltenham. Even in the pre-match warm-up, they were 
incredible and an incredible support throughout the whole game as well and uh, you know the players certainly fed off that yeah they do we, like, like I said uh, two weeks ago against Burton we, we need them in difficult moments and one nil down away from home they never stop singing they never stop backing the team and uh, they get the rewards at the end with the celebrations in the corner uh, brilliant uh, to see the numbers that we travel in but brilliant to see uh, so many supporters happy and, and kind of backing the team and the songs that you hear of different players and that. It's always, it's always great to be part of those moments and we have five big games where we want even more moments like that this season. And just finally then, I think I know how you're going to answer this one, but how important in the context, context of the league table was today's win? Am I that predictable, Craig? <laughs> it's another win. It's uh, three big points away from home. I think all season we've showed fantastic form away from home. We have five huge matches left this season where, as I say to the players, we will need everyone with suspensions, with injuries. It's been a long season, some people are getting fatigued, so uh, we have to recover, we have to regroup and, and be ready for a, a massive test against a very good Stevenage team at home on Saturday. There you go. Not predictable at all. <laughs> Cheers, Gary. Thanks.